here at Chatham County, we've been working with different rescues in the area, One Love Animal Rescue, Renegade Paws Rescue, the Humane Society, and some local, just local interest groups for animals about ways that we can increase our live release at Chatham County Animal Services. You know, live release means the amount of animals that come into the shelter that leave alive. Yeah. Basically, our live release has been, you know, hovering around 50 to 60% for a few years. Over the last five years, we've increased it to 70. But that's just, you know, that's through adoptions and things like that. Now we're trying to push that envelope a little bit higher to 90. One of the ways that we decided would be the best way to tackle it is trying to get everyone on the same page, working together, and to streamline that process for the public. You know, we know where to look when we're losing our pets, and the general public doesn't. And so we decided to put all of that information in one website rather than expecting, you know, every member of the community to check four, five, six different websites just to try to get the same information. What we've come up with is Chatham 90. It's a website that you can look at, chatham90.org. What that does, is you file lost and found pet reports on that website. Those website, that website can track those. We get pictures to help, you know, rather than bring animals to the shelter, it gives them a chance to keep them at home, but still track them and be able to find them when owners come to the shelter, or come go online to look for them. The other thing that that's done over the last few months is actually given us the opportunity to track how many animals are microchipped. So we're getting some data with that as well. Like when we get a lost pet report, we ask, is the pet, you know, is it microchipped or not? Get your pet microchip. It makes the connection a lot easier whenever we're able to just scan that chip and see where they belong and we can reach out to you. So I definitely advocate for that. Our first initiative was to just get this website up and running. Once we get that up and running, we get that kind of the word out there and people start using the website and start using it for not only lost and found pets, but help in the community. It's gonna be a big deal. Like there's stuff on there to actually, you know, if you need help with pet food, if you need help with pet care, there's, there's different things that you can find on that website as well. This isn't just an animal welfare problem, this is a community problem. You know, pets are part of our community, they're part of our family. So we're asking the community to be part of the solution um, and really asking them to work with us to try to improve things. Chatham90.org, use it because when we talk about quality of life in Chatham County, it's not just for us humans, it's about our pets and our animals as well. Visit Chatham90.org. <laughs>